He grew up on the big screen playing one of the most enduring characters ever imagined. Now Daniel Radcliffe is starring on Broadway. Daniel swept fans off their feet in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in 2001 and blew everyone away in the next four Harry Potter movies, all based, of course, on J.K. Rowling's inspired novels. Now he's taking, taking a star turn on The Great White Way, portraying a decidedly more grown-up character in the drama Equus. What's your first memory of a horse? Well, what do you mean? Well, the first time one entered your life in any way. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe, good morning. Morning. Well, I can't imagine two opposite kind of characters to play, yeah. Harry Potter or Alan Strand. I mean, yeah. my goodness, did you do this intentionally? Um, it was, it, I mean, I always wanted to do something that was going to be different and that people would, you know, think, oh, he wants to take this seriously. But I didn't, I didn't pick Alan just because he was different. It's just, it's a great part in its own right, really. So it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't just um, that it was different. I mean, because also you have to walk a fine line because if you do something totally different, like you play a drug dealer or something like that, then everyone says, oh, he's trying too hard. Mm. Whereas this was kind of a kind of happy medium for me. This character is violent. Yes. He's, he's, he's got a secret. Mm -hmm. He's 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 really troubled. Yes, I mean in those ways you could accuse Harry of being all those things as well. <laughs> he has dissolved a man's face on one occasion. Um, but um, but yeah, no, I mean he he is a pretty screwed up character, mm -hmm. and um, and that's what the beauty of the play is that it's it's about the, his relationship with this psychiatrist and both their individual lives and it's also a th I mean the thing Peter Schaffer the author kept saying to us is the thing you have to remember about this play is it's a thriller and it's a it's not a who done it because we all know Alan did it it's a why done it and from mm. the word go you've got to be trying to tell the story of why this boy committed such a grotesque act mm. and and uh, not to give it away but but obviously in that videotape we just saw it re re reaffirms what people have been writing about it that you take a big risk in I mean you're acting naked Naked in front of people on stage. I mean, did, did, how did you, you? You're 19 years old. How did you wrap your? I mean, I'm not going to do that. How did you wrap your mind? Of course, you'd look a lot better than I would doing it. But the, what, <laughs> why? How did you wrap your mind around that idea um, on well, Broadway? Um, and you actually did this in London. I as did it well. in London when I was 17. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know. I know. It's crazy. I don't know. I just. I just. Um, what convinced you? It was just the fact that it's a great play, and if it's part of the play and you've taken the job, then you just do whatever comes with it, and you don't complain or procrastinate, so you just have to kind of get on with it. And it, and it is quite intimidating, and it's a little scary, but you just sort of have to uh, grin and bear it and just do it. And yes. after the first few performances, it's kind of fine. Let's talk about how you're being reacted to. The Wall Street Journal um, basically calls your performance strong. It says, oh, Mr. Radcliffe gives a self-effacing yet strong performance that serves a play, not his fans. You know, Fantastic. the reviews for your work are good. That's great. I mean, I don't read them, which I always think ah, is... is oh, so I'm sorry. I no, no, told don't you? worry. No, should no, not at all. Hey, great. You don't, why it's don't fine. you read them? Um, because good or bad, they'll affect the performance in some way. Oh. And if you don't read the bad ones, then you certainly can't just read the good ones. Because mm. that's what I think some people do, is they just read the good ones and you think, well, yeah, you're not perfect, you know. So don't, you kind of have to take the good with the bad on, on, on those kind of things. So you so want to focus choose. purely then on doing the best yeah. job you can with the And character. also just doing the job that I've been asked to do by the director and the writer and not taking direction from critics who do, you know, who and they do a very good job. I think some critics are great and some are not so good, but some of them are brilliant at their jobs. And w even a bad review can still be fair, you know, so I, I don't really, but so far, as you say, they, they seem to have been good. Well, you, the reviews so, so for your work in general, starting from Harry Potter and on up, have been just really amazing. I want oh, to mention that you. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince is coming out next and you're going to yes. be shooting the last Harry Potter book er, uh, early next year. Yeah. You know, you are really a fine young, ac oh, young actor. Thank young you very man. much indeed. I know at 19, you're you know, young still, but yay, congratulations, Daniel Cheers, Thank you very morning. much indeed. And you can catch Daniel and Equus through February 9th on Broadway in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince opens in the summer of 2009. And coming up next, are you satisfied?